creating WP data tables based on JSON input. A JSON format or JavaScript object notation is a very popular format of exchanging data between different, uh, different systems, different platforms. It was first introduced for uh, JavaScript-based uh, snippets and scripts, as it's clear from, from the name of the format, but it's um, very easily readable, it's very lightweight, and uh, it's easy even for people to read and understand this. So it became really widespread and it's used in many web services for uh, API calls, for exchanging data, and many uh, online platforms can produce JSON output. So that's why we also introduced JSON support in WP data tables as one of the possible data sources. Uh, I will not explain much about how JSON is formatted. If you're interested, you can easily find it on the web. Uh, for example, on the official website json.org, you have all the explanations here. I will just go through in this tutorial how to create a table in WordPress using WP data tables based on the JSON input. We have a sample uh, of the JSON input, which we are going to use. You can also download it freely on our website. The main thing that we need to mention right away is that you can't just copy and paste uh, any JSON file, any JSON URL in WP data tables, at least for now. Maybe later we will prepare some sort of uh, adapter or some sort of dynamic data fetching logic or something like that but for now a JSON must be in exactly this format so this is in our, an array of objects you see uh, the square brackets they wrap an array then uh, elements of an array are objects which are in this uh, round brackets and in the object, all the objects must be of the same structure. So you see it's basically a two-dimensional array. So each element, each object will be treated as a row and then each property of the object will be treated as a, as a cell. So the names of properties are, are fetched as column names and the values as cell values. Of so before, uh, before you try to create the WP data table based on the JSON input, please make sure that it has exactly the same format because we receive many requests on our support system that uh, people have pasted the JSON format and they fetch no data and then we try to see that we see that it's actually more like a tree structure, multi-dimensional arrays or something. Uh, so many system can build this JSON output dynamically, so just check that it follows this format, it's nothing complicated. If it's not an option, uh, it, it is very easy to build a PHP file that will read the uh, custom JSON format and then return uh, the values in this JSON format. So uh, let's go through creating a WP data table based on this JSON output. I will copy the URL. You can also use the same URL or you can download the file and uh, upload it to your host, uh, whatever. Uh, then we need to go to our WordPress admin dashboard. And here we open WP data tables, add from data source. I will call our table video JSON example. Uh, the table type will be JSON file, of course. And here we just paste the URL that we just copied. I will skip all other settings for now and just click save. When we click save, WP data table is connecting to the URL and it's fetching the column metadata and prepares the WP data table based on this JSON output. So you see, it went to our JSON, read the structure, uh, and it understood that it has four columns, which we, which we have here, name, gender, marital status, and department. So the table 
is ready to use. Let's just add some fine tuning in terms of filtering. So for example, for department, it would be nice to have a select box filter. And for marital status, let's have a let's have a select box filter as well. Um, for gender, also select box filter. And for name, let's leave the text filter. So we save the table once again, and now we can preview it to see what uh, what is the result. So uh, as you see, WP data tables fetched the values from our JSON input and produced a, an interactive table which we can filter, sort, or do whatever we want with it. So now we can insert this table in our uh, WordPress post or page. So we can just copy this short code, or even easier, we can just go to our page or create a new or create a new post. And let's call it uh, video JSON example. And here is our JSON based WP data table. We just place the cursor, cursor uh, where we want to uh, put the table and we click this button here, insert the WP data table. So in this drop down, we need to find the table that we just created, video JSON example, click OK, and it pastes the short code for us. We just now need to click publish and then we can go uh, to the front end and view the page. And here you go, here's our table. Uh, it's already sorted by the first column. So we can sort it in different order. We can filter it. We can filter it using drop downs. And that's it. So uh, just to repeat once again, the main thing regarding JSON based WP data tables is that JSON format JSON output that um, that you want to use needs to follow this uh, specific format so it's an array of objects and objects must be formatted the same way so they, it can't be that first object has four cell uh, four properties second six third one three etc then uh, WP data tables won't be able to fetch it as a table so thanks for watching and see you in next tutorials Purchase WP data tables exclusively on Code Canyon.